Hey guys, so today I'm jumping straight onto my eyes as I've done my base already. I just wanted to save time and here I am just setting down the primer that I've already laid down which is the Colour Tattoo in Creme de Nude. I'm using the lightest shade in my beloved Morphe 35 Old palette and then I'm moving on to my transition shade just to give a little bit of depth. Today I decided that I kind of fancy trying a cut crease but because my eyes aren't really the best shape for a cut crease I thought I'd just do it really really softly and I did like the way it turned out so here I'm just laying down a good base for my transition and then I'm going on to pick up the shade you see here just to deepen it up a little bit before we go in with our smaller brush and our darker colour to as you would say cut the crease but you'll see what I mean in a second. And here goes nothing. So I've picked up my smaller brush. This is a brush from Morphe, but I will have everything listed in the description box as I always do. Here I'm picking up one of the darker browns in the palette. What I think I did was I just kind of custom mixed until I found the right shade. And I'm literally drawing a line. Um, basically I'm just going back and forth and instead of doing a really, really defined line, I'm just smoking it out. I've got the basics for what I want and then I'm just gonna blend it and blend it and blend it so you can see that it's there but it's not really really harsh because you can see that my eyes are really really hooded I'm just going just above that and then smoking it out here I'm adding on the shade that I picked for my lid and this brush actually ends up being too big and a little bit hard to work with so I do swap to a smaller brush but basically I'm just keeping that in tight to where I've cut the crease and covering my eyelid. Um, as I say, it is really, really smoky, so I don't want to make a really harsh defined line adding this, so I didn't opt for the concealer or the primer option where you really, really cut the crease. I wanted to keep it really soft and really, well, natural, if you can call this natural. And then I just took this fluffy blender brush and blended it out even more. So you can still see it's there, but it's really nicely blended. Here, I'm just putting on a little bit of eyeliner. I'm putting a tiny, tiny little wing. Really, I wanted this just for a little bit of definition, and I am gonna throw on some falsies, so you have to hide that lash band. For falsies, I love Ardell lashes and I totally love these ones. I've just discovered them. They're actually the baby Demi Whiskies. Whiskies? Wispies. Um, if you like Demi Wispies and you have really quite hooded eyes or small eyes like me, you will love these. They're just as wispy but they're not as long so they don't kind of tickle your eyebrow bone if that makes any sense. I really like them and I'm definitely going to buy me some more. Here, before we get off track, I am just adding a little bit of bronzer because I am so pale just now. I am really, really desperately in need of a spray tan. So I'm just bronzing up the perimeter of my face and then I'm mixing warm porcelain and cool porcelain by Makeup Geek just to kind of make a custom shade for my contour and hitting all the usual places. I didn't want to go too ham, but I usually end up going a bit crazy with my contour. I end up blending it all out later anyway and for blush, I just use Spellbound, which is in the Z palette with those contour shades. I really like it. It's just a really nice pop of pink, but it's not too overly pink. It's kind of a peachy pink. I'm really useless at describing shades, forgive me. But I just popped that on the apples of my cheeks and then went on to blend everything using this little dual fiber brush from Real Techniques. I really like this brush. It doesn't pick up too much powder if you're gonna use it for loose powder or anything like that. Um, I will list exactly what one it is below, but I think it's just a Real Techniques dual fiber, to be honest. Here I'm just setting my brows. I did my brows off camera with my foundation and all that jazz, and I always find that I get kind of powder in them, so I like to leave setting them right until the end. Here I'm picking up this Wee Duo from BH Cosmetics. I've had it for years. I do really like it. It gives you more of a natural highlight, so that's what I was going for today. And I just picked it up on this little Morphe brush and hit my cheekbones and my nose. I didn't really highlight anywhere else today. Here I've just sprayed my face with the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray and as always I usually get my Beauty Blender or my Real Techniques sponge and just pat it in because I have peach fuzz and it tends to cling to all the hair so this just helps stop that from happening and I'm going to line my lips with this lip liner also from BH Cosmetics and then I'm going in with Alyssa from Colourpop. It's a collaboration with Kathleen Lights. I really love these lipsticks. They are really nice. I've bought ones that kind of pull quite purple on me, but for this time of year, I do really like it. So after that, this look is pretty much complete and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and 
hopefully I will see you soon. Bye.